never realize there's a wolf around until it's too late. Then they do exactly what the wolf expects them to do. They run into each other, they fall down, they become dinner. Time to eat. Oh. Hey, good morning. We're here in Colleyville, Texas at Compass Church. Uh, this is like a little mega church in Colleyville, Texas. Uh, it actually occupies like three corners here on this intersection, uh, which is probably some of the most expensive real estate here in North Texas. Uh, this church, like many churches, uh, they've got like a like a little playground area, a lot like McDonald's for the kids. Uh, the messages are very lukewarm, so we're here to warn the pastors to stop feeding on the sheep, and we're here to warn the people that judgment is coming to America, and they must get ready. That man got into a business in the American churches. That is the American church where the pastors feed on the flocks. They won't follow in the example of Paul. Now the apostle Paul that worked day and night, the apostle Paul worked day and night, he bought his own bread, and he said to follow in his example. He raised the dead. He was working in special miracles. He wrote half of the New Testament. He said, follow my example. But the people in the churches, the pastors, the pastors won't follow his example. No, there's too much money at stake, right? The salary is too good to follow in the example of Paul. <laughs> I'm not going to follow in the example of Paul. There's too much money here, right? That's disgusting. God is going to judge these things. And your judgment will be very strict. And today is your warning. If you are a pastor, a teacher here, and you are taking money, you are taking money from the people of God, and you're putting it in your bank accounts, you're just like one disciple. There was one disciple that loved money. Do you remember that disciple's name? The disciple that had his hand in the treasury? Do you remember the disciple's name that put his hand in the treasury and thought he could take some money out of the, out of the treasury? Do you remember that disciple's name? Anybody want to call out his name? The disciple that his hand in the treasury? Yes, that disciple's name was Judas. Judas Judas loved money and he took a salary for himself just like your pastors do, right? Just like the pastors here, Judas took a salary for himself. He thought it was his right to stick his hand in the treasury and take money out and put it in his own pocket, didn't he? Yes, that's what Judas did. And what did Jesus say about Judas? Judas Jesus said it would have been better that he was never born. Yeah, the Apostle Paul worked with his own hands. He said to follow in his example. But the pastors, the shepherds, the teachers will not follow in the example of Paul because that would mean they would have to get another job, wouldn't they? Oh, the feeding's too good here at Compass, isn't it? Feeding's too good here, right? Yeah, if you get another job, you may have to. that might hurt your golf game, wouldn't it? It might hurt the golf game of the pastors if they had to work with their own hands, wouldn't it? Yes, most of the, the pastors across America are lazy men. They're lazy men. They won't follow in the example of Paul. Lazy men. And God is fixing to judge you, pastors. And folks, we're here to warn you. We're here to warn the sheep here at Compass that it is time to forsake the world. Destruction is coming to this nation. God is fixing to pour out judgment upon this nation, this nation that kills 50 million babies, this nation that loves idolatry, this nation that loves entertainment, God is fixing to judge this nation. And that shouldn't surprise you. God is fixing to judge America. And the reason we are here today is this verse right here, 1 Peter chapter 4. Judgment begins first at the house of God. So folks, the judgment is going to begin in the churches. The judgments will begin in the churches. Judgments will begin in the churches. That's 1 Peter chapter 4. Yes, you're getting ready to find out who God is because the Bible says that God is known by the judgments that He executes. You're getting ready to find out who the God of the Bible is because He's getting ready to execute judgment upon the United States and it will begin in the churches. The purification will begin in the churches. And there are many of you that aren't ready. There are many of you that still have one foot in this world. There are many of you that think you can have one foot in the world and one foot in the kingdom of heaven. There are many of you that think you can enjoy and indulge yourself in entertainments, indulge yourself in sports, indulge yourselves in the, in the things of this world, but you're wrong. The Bible says that friendship with the world is enmity towards God. 
If you are a friend of this world, the Bible says you are God's enemy. The Bible says, this is John the Beloved, he said not to love the world or the things of the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in them. Yes, there are many people in the churches that love the world. They love their golf. Does your pastor love his golf? Does your pastor love his football? God is fixing to judge these things. He's not going to be playing games with you when he judges this nation. And most will be cut off, and that is why we're here today to warn you, because love warns. Love warns, and judgment is coming to this nation. And it will be very severe when it comes, folks. If you want to look at what a judgment looks like, maybe crack open your Bibles to Isaiah. What did God do to his chosen people? His chosen people, the good figs, the good figs were stripped naked and they had their heads shaved and they had fish hooks stuck in their noses while they were carried off into, into Babylon. Did you know that? Did you know that that was the Lord doing that to his chosen people, his stiff-necked people? What will the Lord do to the rebellious American church that loves its entertainment, loves its pleasure, huh? What will the Lord do? What will the Lord do to the grafted in branches? Have you ever thought about that? Folks, it's time to wake up. It is time to wake up. God is fixing to judge this nation. And this nation has a lot of blood on its hands. This nation has a lot of innocent blood on its hands. And there are many people in the churches that don't even fear God. You're getting ready to find out who God is.